Thank you for coming. Established in 2014, the photography sessions are a series of talks that were held regularly at Moray House Trust. The events took a hiatus last year after the previous coordinator, Karan Sahadio, left the country. I have renewed the photography session starting with today's event, Portrait of a Protest. Protests in Guyana have always seemed to be divided until the recent Park and Meter protests. This movement saw the unification of people varying in race, background, and economic standing. It became a historic moment of the resistance of efforts in Guyana. The protest, while peaceful, was very powerful, gaining momentum through clever branding and broadcasts on social media. However, beyond the camera phone snaps by protesters and a few photos by photojournalists for their job, the park and meter protest wasn't really documented. How many photographers viewed it as a photo opportunity rather than a simple event? In Guyana, is the category protest photography recognized? Internationally, when people take to the streets for resistance movements, photographers flock trying to get the shot that will become the iconic photograph of this moment. These presentations that you will listen to today are not political statements, but instead they are photographers telling stories and sharing the moments that they captured. They took the initiative to grab the opportunity and capture history through their lens. I will now hand you the recent protests against metered parking system in Georgetown provided an opportunity for photographers that is not usually afforded to them in Guyana. I'd like to be clear that what follows here are my opinions, just as the photos are how I saw it. It is almost the norm in Guyana that protests are either so small as to be almost unnoticeable or so large that they tend towards the uncontrollable. But the protests organized by the movement against parking meters not only promised to be, but succeeded in being well attended, controlled, and peaceful. The surprising part was that the protests also turned out to be expressive in visual ways, as one of the main aspects of the protests was for them to be silent. A notable exception to the general silence being the party atmosphere when Dave Martin's song, Postpone, was played by a mobile music cart. At the protests, I saw people from all walks of life, all races, all creeds, all ages, all classes in attendance. Some came for a few minutes, many came for the full hour. The placards were sometimes serious, sometimes hilarious. Some politically correct, some bordering on abusive. But treading its way through it all was a camaraderie that dispelled any ideas of trouble. It may not have been a meeting of the minds, but it was a weekly meeting that few seemed to mind. Some even were enthusiastic to be there. There were more smiles than frowns. There were characters, there were actors, there were lawyers and doctors, vendors and store owners. There were drivers and the driven. And the creativity showed not only in the placards, but in costumes and props, in restraint and in action. The protest against the metered parking system as conceived and implemented showed the power of peaceful protests. It showed that even without loud chanting, messages can be conveyed effectively through visual means. And for me, it showed that there are instances worth capturing, worth pondering, worth sharing. I don't do much street photography or even event photography. And even those that I do, I don't generally consider art. But a director at Moray House thought that the photography coming out of the protests were worthy of being treated as more than just Facebook posts. So here we are. In many ways, it was easier to shoot than you'd think. For one thing, no one paid attention to the cameras because they were almost expected, mainly because of the press. Or when they noticed the cameras, they reacted accordingly. For another, the ever-changing dynamic of the crowd made it less of a sameness as people came and went. And things changed not only from minute to minute, but from week to week. I shall now let some of my photos do the rest of the talking. Thank you.